Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 19 inch um, LC screen to a, our UP70 series LED kit. This is a 19 inch screen <coughs> which is made by uh, Fujitsu. The part number is FLC6, I'm sorry, FLC48SXCAV. Uh, this screen is quite popular and uh, you can find this screen easily on those 19 inch ELO touch screen. Most of the 19 inch ELO touch screen are using this screen. So to replace, to upgrade LED light is really, really easy on this model, on this LCD screen. Um, first, uh, we had to take the wire out here on this end. And basically, you should be careful the clips, all right? When you take it out, it's quite simple. Just hold the wire, pull the whole reflector out. Once out, do the same thing on the other one. See, just hold it like this, pull it out. So it's quite easy to take it out. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's this is the reflector and this is our 70 series. So you can easily mount it inside of a reflector. So we can use this reflector as a heat sink too, part of the heat sink. So, it's quite, before we upgrade a LED, we always test our LED strip first. And connect to here. And connect the power supply. Power supply. And Good. Slides up, ready to be installed. Uh, you might notice that there's a deep switch setting if you order this kit, it's always on the 257. This is what we call default setting. It depends your application. Um, you know, if, uh, if you think this setting is too bright, you can go to a lower setting. All the settings are available on the website. If you click this part number, which is UB7395 LED4821, you're going to find all the detailed settings. <coughs> At the moment, we're going to use a default setting. So, we're going to remove the light. LED light. Okay, just take it out. See that? Okay. Take it out. Okay. Alright, we're going to try to... Uh, this one too. Okay. You might bend a little bit this thing. <coughs> to because this is holding a backlight uh, assembly. Bend a little bit. Take it out. See? Easy. One's out. Next thing, we're gonna okay, remove this double side tape. Alright, now we just want to make sure we put it in the center of the reflector. Uh, just alright, so then using flathead screwdriver, kind of like a push in, push in. Just be careful uh, because some of the reflectors on the bottom they're not flat like this one. It's a little bit different shape. So as long as you put it in the center, uh, that's fine. Okay. So make sure this they put it in flat, stick like this. Don't stick like this and that. Then you might see the problems on the LED strip. So make sure you stick on the flat. What is done? No, you can just easily slice back. <clears throat> oh, one thing I forgot to do is that I need to bend this clip too, otherwise it won't go in. Okay, there's two clips that I took it out. 
Paint it like this. There we go. All right. Now slice it. Okay. <coughs> now we're gonna do the wire. Wire. We're gonna do the same thing. Trace back like this. It was before. What I usually do would be add a piece of tape to secure these wires because the LD wire. And then, let's set the other one at this side. And then, you're gonna add a piece of aluminum tip here, just to cover this, make sure there's no light bleeding out. Do so, just add the, all our UBC always comes with the set of aluminum foil. See? Well, um, one is done. Then um, <coughs> on the other one, you just on the other side, you just repeat the exact same procedure like I just did. Uh, that would be it. It's quite easy. Thank you for watching.